Wow, this camera is super zoomed in today. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. What is up, everybody? <laughs> wow, this is the closest camera I've ever had in my life. I'm going to back this up about three inches or so. Give me a sec. Wow, I did not expect this camera angle to be where it is right now. Thanks for being patient. I will be running by in just a moment. Actually, I am live. What I mean to say is I will have this camera angle issue fixed.
All right. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. This is what happens when you uh, fidget with your camera settings and you don't check them before you go live. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh man. Give me one sec. I'm actually gonna move it a little bit closer, just a smidge closer, so you don't see everything but me as a little speck in the frame. All right, that's better. It's not perfect, but uh, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> oh my God. Let this be a lesson. Never, ever, ever mess with your settings in between streams without testing it first. I added a new camera frame, as you can see. And uh, what I did not realize is the camera frame actually uh dramatically changed the aspect ratio of how it looks within the actual borders and it actually dramatically changed the depth of field as well as uh the zoom let me try one more thing i'm going to bring it a little bit closer because i'm still like this big in the screen Good enough as opposed to being a half inch i'm now a full inch thank you very much for dealing with my shenanigans i'm going to get started there that's better not perfect by any means but definitely it's uh usable and doable let there be light All right, follow the bouncing ball, kids. Never adjust your settings right before you stream without testing it. Never, 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 never. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. I've uh, witnessed a whole bunch of other crazy things happen to other, other people's streams, like uh, everything crashing. What's up, Royal? I see you, man. I had to adjust my camera. I uh, put a new camera, or a new uh, webcam frame, and it totally threw off my camera settings. So I was like, looks like I was uh, across the room.
Okay, Royal, I am ready. Can you toss me another invite, my friend? <laughs> Thank you. Apologies to people who uh, who watched and witnessed me adjust my camera for the past four or five minutes. But that said, I hope you guys like the new uh, addition to my overlay. We have the Tyler Night Gaming logo that pops in from the right hand side of the screen. And we have a new scroll across the top which shows the latest donations on the either side of that scroll we have my last donor and my most recent uh, follower or subscriber and if you look at the webcam box or the webcam frame rather you'll see dono subs followers all that good stuff with a whole bunch of funky music bars flashing up and down Yeah, that was not intentional. <laughs> Definitely not intentional. But uh, whatever. Could have been a lot worse. I think I might actually use a green screen in the future. Since uh, my new camera angle has all this additional space. So it'll eliminate the background and just have me literally in the game itself, which I think will be pretty cool. I think that's something I'll get in the next week or so. I don't see you in game, my friend. Where are you, Royal? Are you uh, you coming in? You want to play? What's up, Royal? You want to play? All right, well, I'm going to throw into, uh, I'm going to go into uh, TDM while I wait for, uh, wait for my homies. Yeah, I love green. I love when, uh, oh no, three to fourteen. I, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm gonna mess with a game that's already in progress that we're already going to lose. That's not fun. Yeah, I love con. I love when content creators are creative with their uh, green screens. What do you think of the new, uh, the new setup? Yeah, it's like, what, three to five second delay. There's no way around that.
I need a weapon. Team match. Let's go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh. I'm dead. The blue team has scored for the first time! So I'm remapping my, uh, my controls. All right, time to warm up. I'll grab you after this game, Royal. I gotta warm up. Finally upgraded my M762 to kill message. I love the rainbows. I love multi kills. The blue team is unstoppable. Look at that beautiful kill message, man. Just makes me so happy. So I upgraded the M762 up to the kill message. And I also uh, bought the M24 and upgraded that to the kill message also. It was a lot more expensive than I thought. Great! You're about to win! The blue team is about to win! Target down! Reloading! That hurt. Cover me! Rainbows and unicorns. What a beautiful, lovely thing, right? Team victory. GG. <laughs> it's a good warm up. Respectable three KD.
What is up, buddy? Man, the last game we played last night on Livic, we were having a great game. And so my battery died. A really great start. And I looked on the results, and you did very well, man. Let's, let's do a duo. We've never done a duo, I don't think. Uh, this is just duo versus duo. Still warming up. Oh man, I overfilled my cup with ice water. Dude, I love my new M24. Colorful pair of parachute trails too. I've got the most colorful stream on planet Earth. Let's see if we can hit this building. This uh, center building here. Rooftop. Uh, we're not going to be first. I'm not going to risk that we are going to land on the roof with no guns. And the other person has a gun. There's a shotgun. Cool. Cool. Backpack on me. Okay. There's somebody on the roof. Mark the location. There's an M762 in here. I got supplies. There's an AK and ammo. Thank you. I got supplies. More ammo here. Looks like someone's coming up. Knocked and thirsted. There's uh, 762 ammo in the death crate. Thank you.
The little guy on the roof over here is pretty lit. Mark the location. Nice shot. Attack the mark. Copy that. I'm right behind you. Marked an enemy's death crate. Oh, you killed him. Good job. I'm bringing a three time scope to you. There, I just dropped it three times. Marked a location. Marked an enemy's death crate. All right, I'm gonna switch to the car 98. <laughs> Help. I got supplies. Oh, you're on the roof. Oh, thanks. I got supplies. Nice. Thank you. I left some uh, 556 in this room. I'm going to grab it real quick. Sounds like someone's coming. location. I have no idea where I left all that 556, five, but it's okay. All right. Watch out. Copy that, thank you. Airdrop. Alright, I'm going to the I'm going over Watch to the next out. building. Coming back up. Seems that's where the party is. There's somebody right beneath us. I got one shot on him. Knocked and thirsted. 
All right, we're being shot at from all angles. Watch out. Can you crawl over to me? Can you crawl over into the doorway, dude? I don't have any smokes. So I can't risk uh, running out and having us both killed and that would be very bad. <laughs> Do you need bandages or anything? Uh, I don't have any boost to give you, unfortunately. I got supplies. Oh, I don't need it, but actually, I guess I should take it because I don't have anything. <laughs> So I'm a little bit laggy, and by a little bit, I mean my ping is like 500 right now, as you can probably see on my screen. Okay. This is funny. As soon as I look, the gun the gunshots stop. <laughs> Oh well. All right, we should rotate. Let's rotate into zone, my friend. Zone. My ping is still pretty bad, so if uh, if I potato all my shots, that's why. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Wow, it took me like okay. three seconds to actually hop into that building. Ah, damn it. 2v1, GG. That was pretty fun. You want to play a uh, squad now? Let's pick up two of our random, two random friends. <laughs> That was fun. It's a nice little warm up.
cool, man. Good to hear. I like playing games because they're a good way to get rid of stress, not a good way to add stress. People who obsess over ranking... What the hell? I'm sorry, that was totally my fault. I'm used to being yellow, I didn't realize I was orange. Alright, I'm not going to get us killed by trying to go for the roof. I'm going to go for these uh, yellow three stacks here. I totally screwed up that jump. <laughs> okay. My bad. Bad guys downstairs. Oh man. No. No. <laughs> You can tell I don't play with shotguns much. You can do it, Royal. You can do it. Wait, are you dead too? <laughs> All right, let's back out. I didn't realize you were dead. I was like, why can't I spectate you? My sound is double. Got it. I think I know the reason why my sound is double. <laughs> Give me a sec, I got a mute. Come on in, Ahmed. Plenty of room. Come on in. Come join the team.
Are you coming, Ahmed? Oh, you're in the game. Duh, Jesus. I'm brain dead. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. All right, well, Middlestein's not going to be particularly hot. It's way off the flight path, so wherever you guys want to go, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. What's up? Yep. Looks like nobody's coming with us. There's a whole bunch of 7.62 in that box. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I got it three times, though. I'm good. I got supplies. I'm good for optics. I just Mark actually picked up a six times, so I'm really good for optics. I think I might rock the, uh, submachine gun this game, because why not? I just realized I don't have a vest or a helmet. Nice. I just dropped it four times right here. Supplies. 
Yes, a helmet. <laughs> now I just need a vest. Search for vehicles. Here's one back here. Marked a vehicle. I got supplies. I'm going to run in one more building just to see if I can find a vest, because I don't have one. No! I'm really sorry. All right, I'm coming. Can you mark the target? Are they in the building or where are they? You don't see them? Watch out! Thank you. Mark the location. Jesus. That was highly suspect. I'm going to watch that back. I'm watching the death replay. That was highly suspect. Well, not enough to say conclusively based on that, but uh, maybe that guy was just a great player. So I'm going to assume that guy was a great player. I got a headshot on him, but unfortunately a headshot from a, from a submachine gun is not exactly the most powerful thing in the world. And I had no vest, so basically uh, if he yelled at me or said mean things to me, I would have died. <laughs> All right, let, next game, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. I'll, I'll switch you over to the team leader, and uh, you can... You can invite me and we'll we'll play in like Asia. So your ping will be better. Cuz I really don't care about my ping or anything like that. Yeah, so like next game.
So my ping is like 400 right now, so. It's even worse than yours. I hear him. There's a vector and a whole bunch of vector goodies in this loot crate here, in this death crate. Marked an enemy's death crate. Another vector up here. I got supplies. I got supplies. Oh man. <laughs> Enemy. I love that kill message, it's so cute. Oh man. I got supplies. Take it. Okay, I dropped uh no. I dropped an M416 in this death crate here. And there's a bunch of 556. Five, and I'm also dropping an extended magazine. I got it six times. I'm good. Thank you. Let's see if I can find a helmet. If anybody can find a helmet, I'd be very happy and grateful. It's another extended mag in here. I got supplies. Another enemy. Unicorn goodness. No helmet? The nerve of that guy. Yes, I got an M24. There's an ex stock for the M416 right here. I got here. supplies. Oh man. Well, that was fun. No. Avenge me. Avenge me, my brothers and sisters.
GG. <laughs> I don't even know what hit me. One minute I was uh, only brothers, no sisters. Got it. One minute I was in the car. Next minute my brains were being splattered over the dashboard. <laughs> You know, I think this is the only season I've ever played this game where I uh, won't make it to Crown, and I really don't even care. All right, so uh, I'm going to pass member. I'm going to pass leader over to uh, to you. Oh, got it. Yeah, give leader to Royals. I didn't realize she... I didn't realize... Uh... Okay, yeah, we're in Asia now. Okay, we're good. And for the record, that was uh, two games in a row that I didn't have a vest or a helmet, one or the other. It's just nuts. Out. Yep, enemy on the roof. Good call. I'm thirsty today. Ha ha. Help. 
thank you. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved from that wall. Ah, the chaos of war. little parkour action from Royals. got this guys nice excellent thank you okay Man, I love the chaos of good hot drop. Nice shot. Wait. little bit of FPP parkour free running action here. I dig it. Combining sports. <laughs> no. Now back to TPP. Nice shot. Excellent work. No.
Yeah, he's up on the roof on the yellow two stack. Help! He's on the roof right in front of you on the yellow two stack. There you go. Mark the location. Yeah. I don't think you're going to expect much help from your teammate there. <laughs> GG. Uh, you got the Glacier M416 skin. Nice. This is fun, though. Yeah, I'll play whatever map you guys want to play. It's all good. I don't care. Erangel, Miramar, Vikendi, I don't care. Whatever you guys want to play. I'm having fun. That is all that matters. Only reason I was playing Livic is because uh, you're pretty much guaranteed a hot drop every single game. So let's play Erangel next if you want. Looks like we're alone. Nope. One guy beneath us. And the squad behind him. So we had, we do have a squad landing with us. I need a weapon. Here, I have a shotgun. Better than nothing. Thank you. Enemies ahead. 350 ping. Yay. I need a weapon. Well, there's plenty of weapons in my death crate. <laughs> he's pushing, he's pushing. He's 
Good job. I need a... One more. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i know <laughs> he just casually popped up out of the window like he was a friend <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm going to run to the bathroom while this game is in progress. GG. I'm totally down for Aaron Geller, whatever map you guys want to play. I was just playing Livic simply because it's pretty much a guaranteed hot drop every single game. But I'll play whatever map you guys want to play.
Aaron go with hacks. This new game mode is basically PUBG Mobile saying, uh, yeah, so we, we can't get rid of the, all the hackers. So we're just going to give hacks to everybody. And that's what this game mode is. Yeah, exactly. Free PUBG hacks. <laughs> What's up, Ariane? How's it going, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Today's uh, menu is pretty much just hot dropping and, uh, you know, seeing what happens. But yeah, actually, I, I saw on the news on, on uh, one of the gaming websites, actually, that one company just got shut down that was providing 700 million and they see 700 million dollars worth of assets from like Lamborghinis Ferraris and stuff and this company was providing hacks that's all they did was make hacks I'm in the wrong business when you can make 700 million dollars for making hacks on a video game I'm definitely in the wrong business. And I'm knocked. <laughs> wow. Dude. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Uh, what device am I using, Orion? I'm using... Uh, Arm, I'm using a Nubia Red Magic 5G. And, uh... As of now, it is the second fastest gaming phone. The first fastest is the Nubia Red Magic 6. Which just got released by the same company, obviously. This is a 144 hertz display screen, which is pretty darn fast. Uh, the newest version of this has a 165 hertz screen, which is crazy. But the reason I like it is because it has these built-in shoulder triggers. Like I use this for aim and this for fire. You can map buttons on your screen where you want the shoulder triggers to go. Like for instance, the left button is my aim and my right button is my shoot. It's pretty cool. And it's got a built-in fan, if you can hear it. Screen's pretty big too. It's like a little bit more than six and a half inch screen. Pretty big for a phone, 6.65 or something like that. Only downside is it's pretty freaking heavy because there's a fan inside this phone. So you're going to get a workout holding it all day.
I gotta get out of this gunfire, I'll go deaf. If you wanna get the diamond, don't play how we're playing. Don't hot drop. You definitely don't wanna hot drop if you wanna play the diamond. If you wanna get if you wanna rank. If you wanna rank, don't drop there. Drop on the edges, like around here. At least 2,000 meters away from the fly path. Like for instance, if you want to rank, you want to drop like someplace like here, where I marked in yellow. So when we drop, you have to pop the parachute like immediately and basically float. So we're probably going to be within like, I don't know, 3,000 meters of it, or I don't know. Well, actually, we're within 3,000 meters now. But basically, when, when you drop, just immediately open the parachute and we'll float to the location. I didn't realize you cared about rank. So that compound, I usually, when I was ranking up, when I was ranking up, I would drop at this compound here, and then I would rotate into this compound right here. And between these two compounds, there'd be enough loot for a, a squad to completely grab whatever they need. The first compound's not going to be full of a lot of great stuff but it'll get you geared up well enough that you don't have to worry about getting killed and you can rotate into this compound like right over here afterwards that I just marked in yellow Well, anyway, this is the second compound. The number one rule of uh, ranking up, more important than kills, is don't die early. It's that simple. As long as you make it to like the last two circles, you're good to go. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you guys actually cared about rank. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be drop, hot dropping all the time in Middlestein or whatever. Alright, so this is going to sound a little crazy, but the other, the other rule you want to do when you're ranking up is you want to live in the blue zone. You want to take as much blue damage as you possibly can. Oh, thank you. So that means you have to grab heals. So you want to pretty much surf the blue zone. You want to take as much damage as you possibly can from the blue zone. The first two or three circles aren't going to hurt you at all, really. As a matter of fact, uh, you can go pretty much to the second to last uh, circle because you get a lot of points from healing. So you get points from healing and survival. And any kills you get are a bonus. And that is the easiest way to rank Search up. Search for vehicles. So I'm going over to this compound over here. Mark the location. Because it's on the edge of the circle. 
and you can avoid fights. So the second time I got Conqueror, I used this strategy, and I, uh, Search for vehicles. I started playing, like, literally in the middle of the season. Yeah, let's head to this compound right here. So I started ranking literally in the middle of the season, and I still hit Conqueror without really trying, just by using this strategy. So you want to grab as many heals as you can possibly find. Heals, bandages, boosts, whatever. I guess I should make a video on it. Yeah, and the nice part about it, I ended up, uh, hold on, bot. How okay. many kills does it take to, how many hits does it take to kill a bot? Gee whiz. So, yeah, using that strategy, I ended up getting, uh, number one in survival in North America. Because literally, I would pretty much guarantee okay. to get myself in the final circle. It's not sexy or exciting, but it's easily the most efficient way to rank up. I'm out. Need ammo. <laughs> Sexy meaning you have like a 7KD and uh, what kind of ammo do you need? A 7KD or something like that and uh, I don't know, whatever. You're not going to get that. You'll end up with like maybe like a 3KD, but you know, whatever. I got supplies. I got supplies. I have a compensator in here, an AR compensator on me. I got supplies. And by the way, I play a lot of I played a lot of uh, squad with randoms, and I pretty much never dropped with the which were never dropped with my squad because they were always the first ones to die. But you definitely want to do it with the with the squad, whether it's randoms or not, simply because in a game with a hundred players, there are four fewer, three fewer players you have to worry about if they're on your team. You searching for a bigger vehicle?
Man, this lag is pretty bad. It's like I press a key on my phone or whatever, and it takes like a few seconds for it to register. So yeah, we could rotate to Gatka if you want. Uh, we don't have a vehicle, but whatever. I mean, the key is to like not venture too far into the zone to avoid fights until like maybe there's 20 people left. So this way, rule number one, you don't lose points. That is the number one rule. Then once there's like 20 people left, then you can start farming kills. Mark the location. Mark the location. So like season two, there was no conqueror in season one. It didn't exist. So like season two, three, and four. You could literally reach Conqueror without ever firing your gun. Nice jump. So yeah, two things. Actually three things. So you, you get points for... Uh, for kills but you get points also for it's three things you get points for kills survivability like how long you survive and for heals so you want to take damage from the blue zone and heal through it I dropped some 556 five, here. Quadded entrance. Are we leaving? All right.
Watch out! Work. <laughs> really? They're gonna blow the vehicle. They're gonna blow the vehicle. Watch out, bro. Royals are gonna blow the vehicle. Excellent work. Nice. Good job. Excellent work. <laughs> Royals, now you know how I feel. Welcome to my world, my friend. <laughs> Well, this way we get to experiment with uh, taking damage from the blue. Does anybody need boost? I'm going to drop an adrenaline syringe. I got supplies. So now that there's like, for all intents and purposes, 20, 20 enemies left in the game. And we are clearly taking blue damage. We're guaranteed to get points. Just right, I'll run. It's all good. Let's, uh... Oh, it's a trike. I thought it was a two-wheeler. <laughs> so now we can just farm kills. I'm blind. I'm blind. Glasses, man. <laughs> I am quite literally going blind. 
Enemies on me. One more. No, he's gone. That's it. Just one. I'm dropping a four time scope here. Four time scope on me. And a three times. Oh man, this is bad. Watch out. Looks like, uh... This is Watch no out. good. Get on the other Watch side out. of, uh... Jeez. Man. GG. We got third party hard. GG. That cake looks delicious. How many points did you end up getting for that last game? I think I got like 13 points. Not bad. So if you care about ranking, if we just keep playing that strategy of uh, dropping outside of zone, like in this case, we're going to look at uh, something like these compounds like right around here, where I'm marking in yellow. If we drop in these two compounds right here. Oh, God. Yeah. I'll oh, wear it the next game. I was squinting at my screen like a 70 year old man. <laughs>
I'm just waiting until uh, we have the least amount of distance to fly. Might actually be kicked out of the... Well, here we go. Let's just do it. So yeah, I mean, look. Step one, drop remotely. Step two, grab as many heals and consumables as you possibly can. And uh, step three... Surf the blue, because you want to take damage. And heal through the damage. Heal through the first three circles. Realistically, four circles, and then farm kills. And if you can walk out of a game with, like, I don't know, four or five kills, considering you played extremely passively in the, in the first half of the game, that's pretty darn good. So you'll get kill points, heal points, and... Uh, survival points man I'm lagging bad my, my uh, ping is like 500 So there's two compounds, one on this side of the road and one on the other side of the road. And it's more than enough to uh, gear up and be in a good good uh, position to go into the last two circles with everything you need. Look, I'm going to say right now my ping is horrible. It's spiking anywhere between three and 600. So uh, I'm not going to be very effective, unfortunately. So I, I hit Conqueror in like three weeks, maybe less this way with this strategy, just jumping with randoms. But if you have a squad of friends that you play with regularly who know what you're trying to accomplish, you know, know what your goals are, and uh, don't make stupid mistakes and don't try to get you killed. You can do it a lot faster. Dear God. All right. Man, I am uh, glitching big time. So when we're when we're uh, playing as a team, it'll be a lot easier. I'm assuming that if you're ranking up, you're, you want to hit Conqueror, because that's pretty much the only reason why it's even worth it. I mean, Ace really isn't that big of a deal. Conqueror isn't a big of a deal, frankly. But Ace really doesn't even matter. So let's do that. Let's get you to Conqueror. I'll play pretty much every day this time to get you up there.
Oh man. Jesus, was I just I can't see it myself, but were you were was I like jumping over the fence like ten times? If you want Lipkova, it's probably... Actually, no, that's the worst place to possibly go. You're right, going to come, 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 Shecky is better. Mark the location. What is this thing? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> clown shop. This is awesome. Yeah, so let's loot here. Grab as many heals and consumables as you can possibly find. I'm also oh, dropping safe zone. not yet. Stay in the green stay in the blue. This zone is not gonna hurt us that bad. Stay in the blue. Okay. I got supplies. Mark the location. Patience, young Skywalker. Take the blue damage. Get in the car. Just hit a just hit a boost. You want to get as many heal points as possible, so stay in the blue as long as you possibly can. Whatever the next uh, town is in the blue, like, I don't know, like, Mansion, we should go to, like, Mansion, because that's going to be in the blue, and it's close enough to the zone that we can actually get to the zone if we need to, relatively quickly. But yeah, boost up so you get those healing points. Uh, yeah, that compound right there. We can loot here for a bit. And then, uh... Mark the vehicle. Rotate in later. Trying to get in, it's not letting me get in. There we go, I'm in.
So we are literally gaining nice, juicy, delicious healing points right now and survival points at the same time without even firing a shot. Okay, so pretty much, being that our full squad is alive, that means there's like 23 other players left. Now we can pretty much farm kills. So if we can get out of he got out of this game with like four or five kills, we should get a decent amount of points. But and this is the big but: don't force engagements if you can't guarantee that you can kill with a sniper shot don't take the shot only take shots you know you can hit and kills that you know you can actually finish because you do not want to get third partied Oh man, I can't even open doors, I'm lagging so bad. <laughs> Actually, for all I know, I'm already inside the building and I don't even know it. Let's go. Dude, I'm teleporting. I'm going to get back in the car. Take your time though. Okay, so we have 15 players left alive. Just don't take any stupid risks. The longer you survive, the better. Matter of fact, the last few circles, that's where you rack up the most survival points. Just don't take any stupid risks and you'll, end up, you'll exit this game with nice points. So just get to the top 10. Roadblock. Watch out. Location. There's some bandages on me. Yeah, I'm getting sniped. Suppressed car 98. Marked a location. This is not a good place. Let's get the hell out of here. There's, there's going to be traffic from uh, traffic from the bridge. And we're sitting ducks. Let's get out of here. Sorry for the lag, man. I have like 600 ping right now.
This is crazy, but I've been playing this game for three years, and I might have been in this compound maybe twice. With this being my second time. I got supplies. Man, that's nuts. That literally took two seconds to register and say I got supplies after I pressed the press that button. Get in the car. Military base finish, that'd be pretty awesome. Good way to farm some kills. <laughs> there is no universe in which we would have survived that in real life. Okay, I guess we're walking. Sweet! A glider! No. I've never used one before. What, did it crash here? Yeah, I think it crashed here. Genius. Yeah, you gotta uncrash the glider again. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the final circle. <laughs> Don't get blown out of the sky. Hold on, I got you. <laughs> there.
Oh man, you are a terrible driver, homie. <laughs> oh my god No. That's funny. That was hilarious. Marked a vehicle. Watch okay. out. Let's rotate in zone. Watch out. Fall back to safe zone. Enemies ahead. All right, guys, let's try to stick close together and call out our shots. As long as we're within like 10 yards of each other, we'll be in a position to uh, get each other up if one of us is knocked. Sorry I couldn't get to you in time. Can you mark your targets? So I can uh, shoot them too? Okay. Okay, we need to call out our shots so that we can all focus fire. Mark the location. Watch out. GG. Easy peasy.
I gotta know what was in the crate. Uh. GG, that was fun. So yeah, just keep doing that over and over and over again. And uh, you can get conquer in like two weeks, maybe three at most. Just keep doing that exact same strategy. Make it to the final circle no matter what. Alright, so my battery's at 6% right now, if you guys can see that. I'm going to I'm going to leave and charge my phone. I'll be back in like an hour. My battery is at 6%. That was fun. GG. I'll be back in like an hour. I'm going to end this stream. I'm going to come back in an hour after my phone is charged.